Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Learn Audacity. I had a recent comment on my YouTube channel and someone was asking me about noise floor and what to do about noise floor when the level is too low, too low to pass the ACX specs for noise floor. So I thought I'd put together this little video to show you one method, one way, one workaround, one way to get around low noise floor. I know I did a video a while back, at least one video, maybe more, it's all kind of a blur. But I did another video on how to lower the noise floor if it's too loud. But we never talked about how to raise the noise floor if it's too low. ACX won't allow you to upload a file or it won't allow a file to pass its inspection if the noise floor is too low. It doesn't like silence. Silence isn't good. Silence doesn't sound natural. It doesn't sound normal. And if the file that you upload has any kind of silence in it, it's going to fail ACX when you upload your file. So I've got a file recorded here we can take a look at. I just recorded this a few minutes ago. If we come over, first of all, and select the entire uh, track, and then come up to our Analyze drop-down menu and click ACX Check, let's see what it's doing right now as far as ACX Check is concerned. And we can see that it's failing on all three accounts. The peak level is too low. The peak level needs to be up around 3 dB in order to get good audio with ACX. The RMS level is too low. ACX requires an RMS level of between a negative 18 dB and a negative 23 dB. And you can see that we're below that, so we're down at a 27.38. And our noise floor is extremely low. It's almost silent. It's almost non-existent. So I'm going to click OK here. Let's see if we can fix this. The first thing that I want to do is come up to my effect drop-down menu, and I want to go into volume and compression. And then from there, I'm going to click loudness normalization. And when this opens, you have two options. You can set the loudness for an RMS level, or you can set it for LUFS, which is perceived loudness. Well, what I want to do is set it for RMS level because again, it has to be between that range of a negative 18 dB to a negative 23 dB. I leave mine set at 20, negative 20. So let's apply that. And that got our RMS level up. Now, let's go back up to the Analyze drop-down menu to ACX check and see how we look. Now our RMS level looks healthy. We're passing that. But our peak level is now too high because we've raised the RMS level, which raised the peak levels in our waveform. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to come back up to the effect drop-down menu. And from there, I'm going to go back into volume and compression. And this time, I'm going to put a limiter on it. I'm going to leave my limiter set at a negative 3 dB. I'm going to use a soft limit because that's a kinder, gentler limit for uh, spoken word content, and I like that. So I'm going to click apply to put a negative 3 dB limiter on this file. And now let's come back up to the analyze drop down menu to ACX check. And let's look at it again. Now our peak level passes, our RMS level passes, but our noise floor is way down there. It's too low. So we're two thirds of the way there. What do we do when we have low noise floor? Well, here's one method that I want to show you. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to bring in a file that I recorded of just room tone. I recorded this file quite some time ago, and what I did is I got in a good room environment in this room, and I started a recording, and then I left the room. And I just left the microphone in there picking up natural room tone, and I was gone for about 30 minutes or so before coming back in. And I recorded that, and I exported it as a WAV file. So right now, if we come over to my Finder window, we can see that WAV file is right here, 30 minutes of room tone. Let's drag that into our project. And then let's come back to our project. And I'm going to solo that bottom track. I'm going to, to select that bottom track. And let's look at ACX check on it and make sure we've got good room tone. And we do. We have good room tone. Our noise floor is a negative 83.76, which is within specs. So I'm going to click OK on that. 
And now, remember, this is a 30-minute long file. We don't need that much of a file, so I'm going to drag this back over so that it's reasonable and that it kind of lines up with what we've got there. And then I'm going to expand this back out. Let's rewind here and expand this back out so that we can see our waveform. And then I'm going to unsolo that file. So we've got our original track that we recorded that had too low of a room tone or too low of, of a noise floor. And then we've got this 30 minutes of room tone that I brought in, and we're going to run them parallel to one another. So the next thing that I want to do to make sure that this worked is I'm going to export this entire project as an MP3 file. So if we come up to File to Export Audio, here we have a file called Untitled. I'll just leave it like that for now. We're exporting it as an MP3. We're putting it in this room tone folder. We're leaving it at 44.1 as far as the sample rate goes because that's what ACX is going to require. And we're leaving the quality or the, the uh, bit rate at 192 kilobits, which is minimum for uh, ACX. So we're looking good there. We can leave it there. We're forcing it to mono, so that's good. And let's hit export. And then let's go grab that file. And while that file is right here, so we can just simply drag it into our project Get back over to Audacity, and I'm going to solo that file. Again, it's the bottom file here. This is the MP3 that we just exported. It has both the top waveform in it where I was speaking and the bottom room tone in it. Both of those are together in that bottom file. They've been combined. So let's select that bottom file, that bottom track, and let's come up to our Analyze window, back into ACX Check, and see what it does. And when we click on it, voila, all of a sudden we're passing all three parameters of ACX. Our peak level is good, our RMS level is good, and we now have a noise floor that will pass the ACX check or the ACX requirements when we upload our audiobook. So that's one method of doing this. If you have a quiet spot where you can record some room tone, it doesn't have to be 30 minutes long, you can do it shorter and just keep copying and pasting it in if you need to. But if this is ever a problem for you and you need to raise up your noise floor, this is one way to do it. You can record your noise floor. I, again, I walked out of the room. I left the room for a period of time so that it wouldn't pick up any uh, noise that I might be making. And I just let it go. And this is a good solution because now if I have low uh, room tone or low noise floor when I'm doing my ACX file, this is one way to fix it. And if you can do the same thing and record yours and save it off somewhere, if you ever need it, you can go grab it. It'll be right there. So I hope this helps you. It's all I have for you in this video. I wanted to talk about that uh, low noise floor problem because, again, someone commented on it. And this is one fix. This is one workaround. So until next time, y'all take care.